Hi there, thank you so much for clicking the thumbnail and being interested in my work. In this video I share with you how I create quality canvas boards. Show you how I prepare using special glue. Different ways to actually uh, achieve the results. One folding over, one just cut on the edge. Ideal for when you're doing circles or ovals. Preparing the back and on, protecting it from warping. Also a cheap way how to create panels so you can just practice on using MDF. How I achieve a good finish and creating a tone of grey for the final layer. So let's dive in and take a look. Right, so what I've got here is a piece of canvas off a roll and I've marked the areas up. So what I'm going to do here is just show you how I'm going to prime two canvases. This is the only small ones, 12 by 9s But what I've done is done a, a couple of inches each side more so that I flap over then. And what I'm going to show you here is with this one, this is MDF. If you are a beginner and you want something to practice on, I suggest just getting a piece of MDF, this is 6mm, and then you can prime both sides so it's moisture resistant and it'd be ideal just to practice on. And then I've just done a small one here where I'm not going to fold that over, I'm just going to cut it around the edge, which you'll see me do later. So I've marked up the areas, I'm going to do that's a bit of spare stuff, which I'll probably do um, some use it for small studies. Um, so I'm just going to put along here now. Right, so you've got your canvas there like that, and now what I'm doing is putting the board centre of this. That should be about right. Yeah. yeah. So what I'll do with that then is just draw around it. I'll make a little little X on there and an X on the board so I know it's it's the right way because it might be slightly cut out so if you keep everything sort of uh, sort of matched up you've got to be careful there's nothing on that canvas as well no bits and bobs because obviously when you start sticking that down it'll, uh, it'll show through it'll show us a little lump so, um, right, so we'll continue that down there, like so. So, I'm going to cut this out, you see, for the corners. I'll show you how to do that later. Right, so I've got my PVA glue there. I'm stirring it up with a little screwdriver there. You can always wipe it down afterwards. Better than using a piece of stick because you never know, it might get splinters come off that piece of stick. And you don't want that going into your glue. So obviously metal, you're not going to get that problem. So I'm just mixing it up. It's always a good idea to do that. Give it a good stir. And then I'm just using an old hog hair brush there. Dip it in. And then make sure it's the right size. You've got your little X there, so when you flip it over, you know where you are. And just start putting it on. Be, you know, be generous with it. You don't have to worry about it too much. I like to put plenty on, so I know it sticks. Right, I'm just going to lay it on now, just to make sure it's all laid on properly, so I've got no big lumps in, so I'll just lay it in, just make sure I haven't missed anywhere. Yeah, it's all okay. Just there. 
Right, what we'll do now with that, let's flip it to my canvas. There's the X there on the top, so I know it's the right way. I'll check the canvas, make sure there's no there's no dust or anything in there or anything, you know, like a bits of grit or anything. So you position it into the place you want, like so. So you can easily adjust it when you first put it on. And what I'll do then is flip it over like that and then work it in. Working it in like that, just making sure that there's no air in it along the edges like so right then just flip it round like that it's all lined up yeah that's fine so we'll just go along the hole of the edge there like that then cut that out like so Tidy up all these little strag straggly bits at the end, so you have to do that. So now, back onto the glue bit, the glue the edges on now, so you've got plenty on here, we'll be sparing with it. It soaps it up quite a lot on that canvas. So I'm going go along the edge as well there. I'm sure there's plenty on the edge. Do that first like that. a bit on, on these edges to make sure there's plenty of glue in there. That's it. And then what I'll do with that then, front centre first, I'll just rub your hands down it first, get that edge and pull it a bit like that. Make sure it's right, go into the centre and then push it in there like that. See, when you've done, just press all out of them corners there, look, like that. So I can paint over that with primer, and it'll be like a nice clean join there. So I'm just pressing that out of the corner there. Same here, just press it out of there. And you get plenty on that corner then, you know it's going to stick well. That's it, the same here. It just finishes it off, it fills that gap up as well with glue. But this one then, that's just going to be cut on the edge rather than wrapping it round. So there's there's two ways of doing it. Um, I just like to wrap it round. But for just to like little studies like I'm doing, there's no need to do that. It's, it's less, less work doing it this way. So I'm going to paint the glue onto that side. So let's do that now on the MDF. Super absorbent stuff this is, uh, so that's why you've got to treat it on the back, which I'll show you once everything's dry. 
canvas and I'll show you how I treat the back it's a bit later on in the video and with that let's do the same flip it over I've got somewhere to go to look so I've got the the area marked up on the canvas should have shown you that but I've marked the area area of pencil on the canvas don't really matter with this really because you're going to cut it anyway but I just get in the habit of these things and then just push it down like that to start with then what we do then work from the centre and then go outwards like so make sure that edge is stuck but you can always put little bits on edge anyway later on uh, if it needs it so simple as that really and then when that's dry because I'm going to put like boards over the top and some heavy books once that's dry then I'll cut down there with a knife then so it'll be no problem so I'll just get rid of that excess glue make it just get rid of that excess glue over there for start to use a bit of old canvas there easier to cut then that's it so that's that one done right so I've done both of them now so they've both been done so I've gone doing two no good going it through it again uh, so what I'm doing now is just flip put a different piece of board lock put that on the bottom face down face down and it should dry flat then right, so I've got some heavy books here now these are uh, the great artists magazine I uh, collected must be 30 odd years ago now right so I've found some more so I'm going to pile it on loads of weight just checking it's all flat then right down and that'll keep it it'll dry flat then with the moisture from the glue on the board it will slightly distort it a little bit until it's dry so it's important really to make sure you've got plenty of weight on there now with this one here just make sure everything's okay on it I've got to do the same with that as well so we'll leave that because that's nice and flat there so I'll put that on there and then the board on there and I'll just go and fetch some more more weight to go on to there right so that's all dried now so I'm just going to take that weight off there right so what I've got to do now is use a knife this is a just a standard standard knife put a brand new blade in there and all I've got to do is cut the canvas off uh, so it's square rather than folding it over this is the easiest way um, I mean I've done a lot of paintings like an oval shape or circles and they've never come undone I mean I've had, got some about 30 year old, 35 year old using that um, PVA glue it's really good so I've got a lot of confidence in that it works and it stops st stuck as well for all those years so all I'm going to do is go along that edge in fact what I'll do is change that board so I don't want to be cutting on that board uh, I'm going to use a piece of MDF because it's so it's, uh, it don't flake off like if I started cutting on that ply board. Right, so just swapping that over. So I'll just cut along here now. Just put the lightest bit of pressure. You don't have to go too much because it's a brand new blade. It should just come off dead easy. So you don't want to dig into that board really too much. And just take it off like so. and then we'll prime over that so what I'll do is always put a little piece of wood like that so I don't get to any primer on the actual board itself and then once I've done it I'll just lift it off then put it down then it's just that your brush will get onto these so if you just have something underneath it right so we're going to use this uh, GAC 100 then so I'll just twist this twist top just twist it and then just squirt it on here like that just a just a bit to start with like that I've got the plant in my way there and I'm going to use 
this brush here, just a basic brush really, and then just dab, dab it on. It goes on quite well. Soak it in, you see, that's what it's what you want really. So it'll create a barrier then. Right, so I'll squirt a bit more on. I'm just going to put some, some on the side here as well while I'm at it. So it's protected right round. So I'm just giving our coat right round here like that just to protect it and joins. Right, now for the second coat then, so using the same brush, just made sure that that was dry because I've left it for an hour, I've washed that in soap and water. Now there's a good way of uh, just checking that it, there's no water in there, is just get some sort of kitchen towel and then, you know, and just keep pressing against it like that until all moisture comes out of the brush, we can get a hair dry on it. Right, it's time to do the priming. I'm using uh, Michael Arden. Just put it there a lot. Michael Arden non-absorbent acrylic primer. Really good stuff. Needs two coats. Just going to take it out of the tin because it's just been delivered today. I've not used this stuff before, but what it does, it uh, it creates a really great bond. And it's like almost acts like oil primer, where you don't get any absorption of your paint when you put it on. So you know it's going to be really good for that. So because you don't really want your paint, your colours to sink in. So I'm just putting a very light coat on. To start with. It's quite thick. This stuff is. I'll just point it across here. So just doing the MDF to start with. You can you don't have to size this at all or, uh, or treat it before you put this primer on, um, according to what it says on the the tin there. Want to get out this uh, lid here? It's been delivered like that. It was uh, upside down. Put a bit on there. Take the excess off. So I'm going to do is lay it on. Right, that I'll start with. in there and what I'm going to do is use that other brush there so I'm just going to go with a, a finer brush so I don't want it too coarse so I'm using two brushes here one to sort of 
soften it off a little bit. That's it. I don't want too much of a tooth. That's better. I'll put some on here now. Put it on the top. Brush up then and then come back in another hour. So what I'm going to do now is put the second coat on which I'm going to actually make up a, a light grey. So what I'm going to do, I've got some Windsor & Newton, you can see it in shot here, Windsor & Newton uh, Ivory Black and I'm going to mix in with it so I'm going to put a bit along this edge here. Not sure what the tint um, ability of this is, so I've got to be careful. We've not using it before. Uh, like I say, I've just got to just play it by ear. So I'm going to put like two teaspoons in. It might be a bit too much actually. That uh, probably would take a bit back actually. Not to waste any. That probably be a bit enough. About one and a half teaspoons. I'll stick that in the lid for a minute. Right, so I'll get hold of this thing. I'll just take half of that, what I've put down, just to see how it tints. I'm just mixing up. I used to do this with the with the oil primer, you see, so exactly what I used to do with that. Just mix it up. I think it needs that, that, that bit more. Don't want it too dark, but I don't want it too light as well. It's just a tint. just so it takes that glare of the white away. Right, I think a little bit more mixed in with that. Looking at it. I don't know if it dry, dries dark, you see. You know we've not used it before. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm sort of working in the dark, so to speak. So, it's all a learning curve. I don't want this too dark though, because causes issues when you're painting if it's too dark or grey. And you don't want it too light and obviously it's just got to be alright. I think that'll be alright that is. Right so I'll mix all that up. Mix it in well. Just using a normal palette knife. Right so I'll just put some across here then now. So I'm just going to work it in like I did before. Use this brush to actually apply it. It's applying better the second time. That's it, just put it on just to just lay it off. So I don't want too much on there. So just spread it across. So I'm learning how to use it, you see, you've got to take your time with it and just do a little bit of time like that. Yeah that's about right shade actually that is. Do, just lay very lightly putting pressure I'm just thinning out them lines so it's a smaller tooth on it it's got a nice tooth on it but you don't want it too coarse not for when you're doing portraits not our art paint anyway that's it that's it that's your grey tone that's about right colour that is Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I really appreciate it. First video on YouTube with my oil painting technique, so there's loads to come. 
uh, oil paintings of portraits, landscapes, pets, wildlife. I'm going to be sharing you all my techniques over the months to come. So be sure to, to check in uh, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in seeing my pastel work, which is already on there, please check out this video here. Take care. Bye.